Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 57. And we shaded you with clouds and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they were, only, wronging themselves. Allah, the Exalted, continues to remind the people of the book the many blessings he bestowed on their ancestors and by extension on them. While the children of Israel were in the desert, after the destruction of Pharaoh and his army, Allah, the Exalted, provided constant shade for them and provision which reached them with minimal effort. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 57. And we shaded you with clouds and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. The constant shade from the heat of the sun represented the mercy of Allah, the Exalted, which is always shading the people of this earth. The mercy which protects them from harmful things, even if this protection is not obvious to them, and it directs them towards peace of mind in both worlds. And the provision he provides the creation includes all the things one needs to survive in this world so that they obtain peace of mind and success in both worlds. These two specific blessings are enough of a reason for one to show gratitude to Allah, the Exalted, by sincerely obeying him at all times. This involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to him, as outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Gratitude also includes one correcting their intentions so that they only act to please Allah, the Exalted, and therefore desire no reward or gratitude from people. It involves speaking good or remaining silent as well. This all leads to further blessings and reward in both worlds. Chapter 14 Ibrahim, verse 7. And, remember, when your Lord proclaimed, if you are grateful, I will surely increase you, in favor. And it also leads to peace of mind and success in both worlds. Chapter 16 and Nile, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward, in the hereafter, according to the best of what they used to do. But if one fails to show gratitude and instead misuses the blessings they have been provided, which always leads to the disobedience of Allah, the Exalted, then they are only wronging themselves, as the consequences of their actions will rebound onto them in both worlds. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 57. And we shaded you with clouds and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they were, only, wronging themselves. The very worldly things one obtains through the disobedience of Allah, the Exalted, will become a source of stress and anxiety for them in both worlds, even if they manage to obtain some moments of fun and entertainment. Chapter 23 al muminin verses 55 to 56. Do they think that what we extend to them of wealth and children is because we hasten for them good things? Rather, they do not perceive. And chapter 9 at Torbah, verse 82. So let them laugh a little and then weep much as recompense for what they used to earn. And chapter 20 Taha, verses 124 to 126. And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed, he will have a depressed, i.e., difficult, life, and we will gather, i.e., raise, him on the day of resurrection blind. He will say, My Lord, why have you raised me blind while I was, once, is seeing? Or, will say, Thus did our signs come to you, and you forgot, i.e., disregarded, them, and thus will you this day be forgotten. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 57. Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. Generally speaking, this verse also reminds people that Allah, the Exalted, only advises people towards what is good for them in both worlds. He has only forbidden those things which are harmful for a person in respect to their mental, physical and spiritual health. For example, one does not need to be a doctor to understand the many negative consequences of consuming alcohol. Not only does it cause mental and physical problems when drank in small or large quantities, but also many social problems which often lead to violent crimes. Chapter 7 Al-Aif, verse 157. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find written, i.e., described, in what they have of the Torah and the Gospel, who enjoins upon them what is right and prohibits them from what is wrong and makes lawful for them what is good and forbids them from what is evil and relieves them of their burden and the shackles which were upon them. Those who adhere to the commands and prohibitions of Allah, the Exalted, will be free of the burden and shackles of poor mental, physical and spiritual health, so that they can lead a life of peace in both worlds. 
Whereas, those who abandon the commands and prohibitions of Allah, the Exalted, and instead indulge in the harmful things he has prohibited will be burdened with countless physical, mental and spiritual problems and as a result they will lead a life of misery in both worlds. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 57 Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they were, only, wronging themselves. Just like the wise person listens and obeys their medical doctor, who prescribes bitter medicine and a strict diet plan, as it leads to good mental and physical health, a wise person will listen and obey the instructions of Allah, the Exalted, the All-Knowing, in order to achieve good mental and physical health in both worlds. As Allah, the Exalted, controls the spiritual heart, the abode of peace of mind, it is inconceivable that a person can achieve peace of mind while disobeying him. Chapter 53 in Najman, verse 43 and that it is he who makes, one, laugh and weep. In addition, eating from good things, mentioned in verse 57, also includes obtaining and utilizing only what is lawful. One must understand that the external foundation of Islam is obtaining and utilizing the lawful, while the internal foundation of Islam is one's intention. If one or both of these are corrupt then all of one's actions will become corrupt and therefore unacceptable to Allah, the Exalted. This has been warned in a hadith found in Sahih Muslim, number 2342. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 57. And we shaded you with clouds and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things with which we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they were, only, wronging themselves. Allah, the Exalted, warned the people of the book living in Medina not to adopt ingratitude to him, just like their ancestors did. But in most cases, this warning fell on deaf ears, as they continued to oppose Islam despite recognizing its truthfulness. Chapter 6 Elanim, verse 20. Those to whom we have given the scripture recognize it, the Holy Quran, as they recognize their, own, his sons. And chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 146. Those to whom we gave the scripture know him, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as they know their own sons. Muslims must avoid behaving in the same manner and instead adopt gratitude to Allah, the Exalted, so that they obtain peace of mind and success in both worlds. Chapter 5 al maida verses 15 to 16. There has come to you from all a light and a clear book, i.e., the QA with Macron N, by which all guides those who pursue his pleasure to the ways of peace and brings them out from darknesses into the light, by his permission, and guides them to a straight path. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.